Hello and welcome to No Particular Order, Man of Biscuits' weekly top five list show where we list our top five whatevers in no particular order. This week, top five funniest movies of all time. All right, we're going to get right into our list. Uh, top five funniest movies, funniest films, funniest films for the alliteration. Why not? Uh, and uh, this week, by random selection, TJ, you get to go first. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, the first on my list is Airplane. Uh, it has some of the highest joke density of any movie. Surely I've... Airplane cannot be on your list. Oh, it is. And please don't call me Shirley. Right. <laughs> well, what's a hospital? Oh, it's a big building. <laughs> patients and doctors. <laughs> but that's not important. Yes, right joke now. density indeed. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, it looks like I picked wow. the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> yes, you did, uh, sir. Yes, uh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> the second film on my list is Blazing Saddles. Uh, because I think either... I, I tend to think in either orgs. Uh, and growing up, I believe very firmly that you were either a Mel Brooks fan or you were a Monty Python fan. And I was a Mel Brooks fan. Hmm. So uh, Blazing Saddles is uh, on there. Just pretty much indicative of everything Mel Brooks has ever done, ever. Uh, <clears throat> the next is The Lost Skeleton of Cadavra, which is a little small movie that very few people have seen. It was a very, very loving uh, parody of old school, like late 1950s sci-fi movies. Uh, they went out to the, uh, the little desert-ish area in California where they filmed so many like just little B films uh, and decided they were going to do their own. And it's just, if you love those kind of old movies, it is going to be one of the funniest things you have ever seen in your life. Nice. If you don't love those movies, it's still amusing, but it's just how perfectly they recreated and how lovingly they poked fun at all of those old movies that makes it just a classic for me. Nice. Uh, the next one on my list is Anchorman. Uh, I mean, it's so quotable. Uh, it's just, it's just fantastically funny. And right. I mean, you don't really have to explain too much about Anchorman. I'm, I'm just resisting the urge to like quote thirty parts of the movie right now. <laughs> yeah. Right, seriously, that's what we're gonna end up doing with all of these. Yeah, we're just gonna be quoting at each other the stuff that we thought we, was funny. We, we hit our quota with airplane, I guess. <laughs> yeah, our quote up. Uh, ah. uh, uh, highest form of comedy they are we'll get into that in uh mana biscuit but okay let's let's uh, let's uh, finish up the list the, the last on my list is ghostbusters uh it's hmm. a spectacularly good really funny film uh and i remember watching it recently and thinking how like you couldn't you couldn't make that movie today not in the way that you couldn't make blazing saddles today because you could not make blazing right. saddles right but, like, there's so many little details and so many things that they did as practical effects, just little things that you might not even notice until your third or fourth or whatever viewing that just add so much life and texture and depth to that movie uh, that now I just have this feeling that you, they wouldn't bother to film it. It would be, a, you know, oh, we'll add in such and such thing in post, right. and then it never gets put in. But that movie, mm. like, that world felt a lot. Mm-hmm. Practical yeah. effects, man. Practical effects. I don't know if it's Manabisc or we were just talking before, but oh, I I am a sucker for practical effects. It's just a lost art. But another topic for another time. Uh, let's see, Jay or RJ? Who's gonna go next? RJ's gonna go next. RJ. Ooh. All right. Uh, my top five funniest films. First, Liar Liar. Uh. It's an arguable position, but it's a position I hold nonetheless. Jim Carrey's finest work. Uh, it's uh, speaking of quotable films. Uh, it's where you see Jim Carrey really bring out his character without being bring out the the type of character that he's so good at without being like you know a ridiculous cartoon character like when he played a ridiculous cartoon character in The Mask. Uh, I love or that you, movie. I, it's in fact, they're, that they're was good. So it's close also good. to my top five. They're, they're good. They're all good, but. They're not the pinnacle. And like I said, it's an arguable position, but it's a position I hold. Uh, all right, next, The Big Lebowski. Um, not only funny, profound. I, I live my life by the gospel of the dude. Um, 
Absolutely. I think that's all that needs to be said about that. And uh, just Pacifist make sure that man. when referring to Asians, you always use the, the proper nomenclature. Yeah, um, well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, man. Nobody. Anyway, that, that one we can't quote because it's still a family show. Uh, uh, all right. Indeed. All right, next up, uh, The Naughty 90s. Uh, this is probably not something that a lot of people are going to be immediately familiar with, but it is a movie I grew up with. It's an Abbott and Costello film from 1945. Uh, and the reason I picked it out of all Abbott and Costello movies because they made like a 40, yeah, yeah, like 40 movies in between 1940 and middle 1950s. But this one is the only one that's in Cooperstown, the Baseball Hall of Fame. Why, you ask? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because it contains, in my opinion, the best rendition of their most iconic sketch and probably the Who's funniest on composition of words in the English language, the sketch Who's on First. Wow, that's, uh, that's a pretty... It's a bold it's, statement. Yeah, it is. It's a bold statement, but it's a statement I stand behind. Who's on first is 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 a comedy, or is a comedic sketch that it can only exist because English is such a ridiculous language, and it's it's the benchmark by which all language all other language comedy should be based. All right. That's that's it for my uh, bold ass stances. My other two movies are probably a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more generally acceptable uh, for this type of list. American Pie, uh, the teenage sex comedy, um, the pinnacle of it for my generation, and my generation is the one that counts to me. So, uh, yes, absolutely, you know, the, the, the Jason Biggs with the pie on his crotch and Eugene Levy, you know, what more needs to be said about that? Uh, and then the last... The one time the band camp. <laughs> the one time, yes, Allison Hannigan, absolutely. Yep, uh, and then lastly, uh, Tropic Thunder. Because I'm just a dude playing a dude with a list of top five funniest films. Honestly, the best thing about that movie, I mean, aside from Tom Cruise, was were the special features on the DVD, including the one that shows Robert Downey Jr. Uh, trying to get into that character. Like, <laughs> seriously, the most ridiculously funny thing I may have ever seen in my life. Nice. There's a scene where he's trying to, like, he takes the place of that guy with his family and stuff and proceeds to exercise a demon out of the son of the man that he is playing. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. I need to watch this. I need to watch yeah, it. Yeah, special. I'm not a big special features guy, but it sounds like one that's worth the time. Uh, all right, Jay, top five funniest films. All look right, at the I'm camera and tell us. I, I had to look down to double check my list Three. because, yeah, and did uh, no glasses, so squinty. Anyway, um, yeah, I came into this late, and uh, a lot of what would have been on my top five has already been picked up. But one that everybody ignored was Super Troopers. Um, this is one of those that honestly, you, you talk about uh, you talk about icon uh, iconic films for our generation as far as comedy goes. That was one of them. Um, next up is Spaceballs. Contrary to what uh, TJ said, uh, I can be both a Mel Brooks and a Monty Python Absolutely. fan because on top of that, the next one on this list is a now for something completely different. Um, but what's your entry? And now for something completely different. But, but what's your entry? <laughs> okay, we are not doing who's on first right now. But yes, it, 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 you just you, you yeah. proved your point just now with uh, that whole who's yeah, on yeah, first yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, next up is uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Any of the movies, they're all outstanding. It's one of those things that I watch every time it's on, or if I need something for background noise. The secret government ego contract. <laughs> Warm and... the syrup. <laughs> <Yuck>. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, last up is uh, Step Brothers. This is another one that I can sit there and watch... Uh, I can watch any time that it's on. Love the sh love the movie. It's been uh, it's been a favorite of mine since the beginning, and probably, in my opinion, better than Anchorman as far as uh, Will Ferrell movies go. Well, so, I don't know. Hey, I mean that's what the hey. show's about. Lists are for opinions, baby. They're that's for right. arguments. All right. Speaking of that, we got our we got our lists. Um, 
But honorable mentions, we talked about that last week. Uh, anybody want to put honorable mentions? Because I want to put Life of Brian from Monty Python yeah. in an honorable mention slot. Well, just everything Monty uh, Python ever oh, oh, yeah. did. We'll put Ani- the Monty Python oeuvre in, in an <laughs> honorable mention slot. Um, um, same I'm thing with throw... all the rest of the Mel Brooks movies. Yeah. And we got to go a couple of Jim Carrey movies. You uh, you talked about Liar, Liar. I think The Mask was honestly okay. the pinnacle of uh, Fair enough. what he did. It was... Uh, it, 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 I, he did it before he was famous. It got released after the fact, and okay, it yeah, still okay. held up. So, yeah. I mean, it was a little... It, it well, he he had uh, In Living had, Color before yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, And he also he filmed wasn't like, that after Ace Ventura. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But in any case, yes, early, early Jim Carrey movies were all great. For me, Liar Liar was the pinnacle of that oh, 90s yeah, bit. Oh, yeah, but the pen is blue. <laughs> yeah. But uh, all right, so we've got our honorable mentions. And TJ, did you have any other honorable mentions? Uh, no, just the okay. stuff that we already threw out. All really. right, then top five of top five. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to say from my list, uh, it's a tough choice between The Big Lebowski and Liar Liar. But I'm gonna go with Liar Liar. Yeah, because I would oh. fight you with The Big Lebowski. Yeah, The Big Lebowski is funny. It- it, for me, it's one of the funniest there. movies of all time, but it's still more of a... The Big Lebowski is a spiritual experience, man. But anyway. <laughs> I Super Troopers. Okay. Gotta be on there. Yep, oh, Super boy, Troopers. Boy. Airplane. I'm not letting this list go yes. down without Airplane. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's, wait. That's, <laughs> yeah, see? I yeah, got see? it. Yep, <laughs> all right. Okay, Super Troopers, Airplane, Liar, Liar. We need two more. Um, MST3K? I, dude, no, I think we could do better. Uh, it'd be co- well, just because we haven't, we didn't pick a specific movie from them. That's like putting an entire well, I mean, category. No, there's MST3K the movie when they did okay. This Island Earth, like yeah. straight up. Boom. All right, <laughs> okay, I'll I'll allow it. All right, MST3K the Silent Earth, and then to round it out, I am going to point a finger at Anchorman. Okay, dude. I'll allow it. I'll get it. I, I, okay. I'll let it slide. All right, that's our top five, top five honorable mentions, individual top five lists. If you need any more lists, I'm sorry, man, we're out. Leave some in the comments, next though. Week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And watch our old ones. Watch yep. our, yeah, yeah, do like, that. Subscribe, do all that other. Leave it, yeah, leave a comment that, and uh, uh, comments. We have yeah, more comments. lists, more lists, more yeah. lists. We got some, we got some comments on last week's show, which we're going to talk about in this week's Man of Biscuit. So that's good. All right, and uh, comments on this show. We'll be talked about in next week's Man of Biscuit. But for now, uh, for Jacob Gamble, for TJ Rathburn, I am RJ Velasquez, and we will see you next week for more No Particular Order. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.